here is a recap of the fees, guys. This is what you're going to want to pay attention to. I'll put a link in the description if you want to actually pull it up in your Seller Central and read it. Here are the charges. Anywhere between 32 and 89 cents a unit for something that's up to 16 ounces. Uh, 36 cents to 97 cents a unit uh, for up to 3 pounds. And 47 cents to $1.11 per unit from 3 to 20 pounds. Now, there's a, a few ways you can avoid the fee. Here you can see the exclusions, the low inventory. You'll wanna definitely check this page out, but the low inventory fee won't apply to new sellers for the first 365 days, new to FBA parent products for the first 180 days. However, they need to be enrolled in the FBA new selection to get this benefit. And products that are auto replenished by Amazon Warehouse and Distribution, AWD. So Amazon's really pumping the AWD, both with the ability to avoid the placement fee that just went into effect and the, uh, the ability to avoid this low inventory fee. So where does this leave you? So these are the charges. You need to pay attention to this fee. And where do you pay attention to your low inventory issues? Well, you go to Seller Central, you go to this little um, hamburger sign, right? And you click on it, go to inventory, and then go to click on FBA inventory. This is where you need to go to see what products you're having issues with. And then what you wanna do is you want to go to historical days of supply, and you wanna click on that and then click on it again to get it sorted so the lowest to the highest right we want to sort these to see the worst uh, inventory that we have and there you go it's in red uh, this product i have 3.7 days five days on the next one 9.1 and so on so those products would be issues uh, for my low inventory now uh, on this particular account i'm running I don't know, two, 300 SKUs. So there's about 10 to 15 products that have this fee. Where I can see this really adversely affecting sellers are OA sellers, RA sellers potentially, uh, and those sellers that have monster catalogs uh, that don't really have really good systems to maintain the inventory levels. But this is really, really gonna hurt if uh, if you don't have your system uh, set up in your business to make sure you're maintaining inventory. Another where area where it hurts is if you're importing from another country and there's supply chain delays especially with the port of baltimore having the issue that could now create some supply chain issues along the east coast until they could actually resolve the baltimore port any type of supply chain hiccups what's going on in the middle east and things like that that's causing uh, a lot of issues with supply chain that will directly impact uh sellers that are importing products because it's gonna just be harder this fee is gonna require you as a seller to be really in on your logistics. You know, this is, the logistics are so important now with the placement fee, with the low inventory fee. Guys, I have included the links to the, uh, to the informations because you're gonna wanna check this out in detail. And uh, I'm sure you're aware with your own business how this is gonna affect it. Uh, a whole dollar fee on some items. And if it's a $20 item, that's 5% of your gross margins right there right if it's a twenty dollar item a ten dollar item a dollar fee is ten percent that's most likely all the margins you have on that product right so it's going to change the game with how you sell certain items right thanks for joining me i appreciate you watching please subscribe to the channel i'll see you next time